Hello and greetings from Beaumont Scout Reservation. Folks, it is hot out here. How hot is it? Well, I saw the cooking mirror badge frying steaks on the boat dock. That's how hot it is out here at Beaumont. It's so hot, I'm going to try to keep this three minute update to three minutes. That's how hot it is. I'm Jake Brown and let's do this three minute update. We've got the following, a faith and scouting program, upcoming events, Firelands Trading Post updates, Cleveland Scout Shop updates, a note to merit badge counselors, and a recruitment update. <clears throat> First, there's a Faith in Scouting open house happening on July 29th from 11 to 2 out here at Beaumont. If you represent or are close with a religious organization who hosts uh, a scouting program or is thinking about hosting a scouting program, you are invited. Lunch is provided. Please contact Jason Setzer for details and to RSVP. His email is below. <clears throat> so folks, there are way too many upcoming events to list in this three minute update, but please know there's still time to register for Wood Badge, Family Camping at Beaumont, the 75th Camper All, the Silver Screen Overnighter, and the Cybersecurity Boot Camp. And if you haven't put together your late summer or fall or winter schedule yet for your unit, well, please check out the council calendar. It's chock full of stuff. I promise you won't be bored with scouting if you're coming to our events. At the Cleveland Scout Shop, there's a sale for camping gear. Buy any three camping gear items and get 25% off. Now that, you guessed it, is a swinging deal. You've got until July 18th to save lots. Questions? Call the Cleveland Scout Shop. And in the West, the Firelands Trading Post and Scout Store has Green Lake Erie t Council t-shirts for sale, along with, drum roll please, ice cream! So stop in today. For all you merit badge counselors out there, please check your email. You should have received one from Council Detailing Renewal Procedures procedures for maintaining your membership. If you haven't gotten one, but should have, please email Heather McMillan. In the world of popcorn, we have a bittersweet announcement to make, folks. Callie Kissling is headed off into the wild blue yonder, back off to her home, original home of Wisconsin. We'll miss you, Callie. Be sure to uh, grill a brat and dunk it in cheese sauce for me when you get there, and uh, tell your folks I says hi. And for the rest of us, if you have popcorn inquiries, well, they now go to, here, let me spin the wheel of council employees here, and around and around and around it goes, and where it stops and nobody, oh, I do know, Heather McMillan! Oh, Heather, it looks like you are the popcorn person to send your questions to, and she's not here to uh, say otherwise. So, Heather, uh, you're going to get some emails about popcorn. Folks, send your emails about popcorn to Heather McMillan. Lastly, here's a friendly reminder to all DEN leaders, Cub Masters, and committee chairs. We're talking recruitment. Cub Masters are meeting Wednesday tonight at 7, and committee chairs are meeting tomorrow, Thursday, at 7. DEN leaders, Cub Masters, and committee chairs also have the chance to attend next week as well, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, respectively, for those positions. Please see the script for Zoom links. It may be hot out, folks, and I may be tired, but I do know that the best time to welcome new scouts into the movement is right now. If you're wondering what you could do to help the BSA right now, the answer is simple. Empower everyone you know to speak about all of the amazing, positive things that have happened in their lives as a result of scouting. Have you had fun at camp? Spread the word. Have you watched a scout conquer their fear of heights? Spread the word. Have you witnessed teamwork at a Pinewood Derby amongst Cub Scouts? Spread the word. Have you seen leadership skills increase in yourself tenfold? Well, you guessed it, you should spread the word. There's a lot to be proud of in scouting within your world. Make sure that you can attest to that and welcome other families with open arms. And that's a wrap for this week's three minute update. Thanks for all you do and thanks for being you. We'll see you next week right here on the three minute update.